Well, the day has come. Damn, 1.5 million in 40 minutes. The termination of Celine Totsky. Now, I, I figured it would be more of a termination. Like, this is, like, really, like, you don't get, you don't be silent this long for a graduation. Let's see. We hereby announce that we have had to make a difficult decision to terminate our contract with Niji Saji Salin Totsky, effective immediately due to the repeated breaches of contract and misleading statements on social platforms. Yeah, I know. I literally said this would happen. Okay. Um, Attach the detailed explanation of circumstances related to decisions being taken. Thank you for your understanding. Continue supporting you, Sunday, you, Sunday, you. All right. So let's see. Now, this is uh, Celine's point of view. This is Celine's uh, alter account. I will not be silent anymore. In December, I was hospitalized for an attempt that was caused by a built of a bullying within and being in a toxic slash poor environment in numerous months that led to me to my breaking point. I was supposed to leave first, but on more neutral terms on 26th January. We're returning here soon. I would like to celebrate Lunar New Year with all of you. The holiday means a lot to me in Chinese culture. All right. Um, welcome back, Bar Pierre. Um, yeah, I. We already talked about this, guys. Let's keep it real. We 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 talked about this a long time ago. I said that when she told people to re-upload the video, that was basically her getting in trouble. Like. I figured she'd be, I don't think they would have terminated her if she honestly would have just kept calm about it. I'm not saying she deserves to be fired or anything like that. I'm just saying you should have expected her to be fired with the situation that went down and what always went down. Remember when I, when we found out she was in the hospital and I said, well, the only time that happens if it's a mental health issue, there it is. Literally the worst case scenario that I was thinking has come to light. It sucks. It really does suck. But hopefully she can move on. Hopefully. And I say this because she's literally in real. She is literally in big trouble. Like if Niji Sanji wanted to, they would literally throw the book at her and they would probably win just because of the whole re re upload this. Because whether we like it or not, Selene Totsky is property of Niji Sanji. She is property. So for her to go through the hoops to legally get the song uploaded cup of coffee which started all this at least from our perspective started all this it went from cup of coffee okay well, let's get the rights we got the rights for oops uh, you can block people on twitter with like a, a click shift x or something but yeah um it literally went from hey you uh can you guys re-upload this and even though she got the, the legal rights to maybe do so, it's like you still need your Sanji's property. But let's go ahead and go through this. We sincerely appreciate your ongoing support in Niji Sanji, Niji Sanji in. It is with regret that we have to make the difficult decision to terminate our affiliate affiliation contract with the Niji Sanji in Liger. So Lynn Totsky, due to multiple breaches of contract and misleading statements on social platforms. For transparency, we have provided a detailed explanation of circumstances, reasons to have unfortunate legislative blow. Holy shit, transparency in a Niji Sanji document. No way. I got to see this for myself. Let's read it. Violations by, okay, activity rules for affiliated libraries. Any cover, any cover has established activity rules that our affiliated libraries agree to comply with. These rules are designed to prevent infringement of third party rights. Leaked the confidential information belonging to any color or third parties. Exactly. So when they worked with uh, whoever to get the cup of coffee license, that is a third party. So even though Celine, Celine did the right thing, if Celine was in the position of doing the right thing, she's not management. So she does not have any, she's not supposed to have any way of getting uh, this type of stuff done. And in fact, they don't want you to do it. These rules are designed to prevent infringement of third parties. So basically, let's say Celine did everything, but she didn't. Let's say she lied about the cup of coffee guy saying it's okay to use a song. Now, any color could get sued by that third party because Celine lied on the signature, if that was the case, which from what we know is not the case. 
still, this situation is definitely not good. And legally, I would be a little bit fucking nervous if I was a Celine right now. I'm, I like, honestly. As a company, we're confident that in order to deliver content to the fans and joy in the long term, and to create an environment where our affiliate libraries can safely perform their activities with the support of fans and various stakeholders. Damn, they really care about them stakeholders. They, they, they really talk about them a lot, bro. It is essential for both our libraries and our company to unite and adhere to the comp the compliance with the activity rules. Violations by Slintoxy of the activity rules. By our efforts, our efforts to uphold these rules, Slintoxy has repeatedly violated the activity rules since joining Niji Sanji in July 2021. So here they go. They're going to go dig in and bring every single light, every single mistake Celine did. They're going to throw, they're going to write it down and they're going to be like, boom, she did this on this day. She did this. She did that. She did this. She did that. She did this. What did y'all fucking do? What did y'all do, Niji Sanji? What did y'all do? We get the libraries mess up, but what about your management? What about your legal team? What about the person that's supposed to upload on Twitter? Hey, this person is gonna be graduating, except you put the wrong date. What about them? When is there, when is there gonna be any accountability for people other than talents? Let me know. Somebody let me know when that happens, because I, I don't see it. Y'all let me know if it does happen though. Uh, Slint toxic actions and violation of activity rules, a wide range of issues such as non Compliance with rights, confirmation, and authorizing flows, which could potentially to lead to the infringement part of your copyright, blah, 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 blah. Basically, everything I said earlier, bro, like, yes, even though Celine did the right thing, what if she did it? It's, this is literally them saying, you broke a rule by trying to fix the situation when you have no authority to. Any color dis uh, disregarding the intentions of these parties. See, disregarding the intention. It doesn't matter what she was trying to do. This is what she did. And she broke the rules. As well as a lack of communication with the creator resulting in delays and Salentati commission payment to creators. Okay, so now they're saying, hey, it wasn't our fault. It was Salent's fault. The commission and the payments and shit like that wasn't sent through. Now, is that true? I don't know. Now it's starting to sound like he said, she said bullshit. And if it sounds like he said, she said bullshit in the VTuber community, it probably happened. Let's keep it a buck. It probably happened because they a lot of people love snitching in this community. Don't don't nobody like to keep shit quiet. Everybody got a snitch to try and look like the good guy. Anyways, discarding the intention of these parties will lack the payment as a creator. Furthermore, there have been ongoing reports about inappropriate behavior by Selene Totsky throughout her time as Nijisan to Ian Library. We have been addressing these concerns as they arise. Can you give some examples? As a company, we recognize that these violations of the activity rules could damage the trust placed in Nijisan to Ian. We're also aware of such violation jeopardizes the organized the, the ongoing activities of other libraries affiliated with any color. Furthermore, we have consistently issued warnings to Celine Totsky each time there was a violation of the activity rules. However, she repeatedly disregarded these warnings. Can you please give some examples? Give us some examples of how this happened, because it's like it's he said, she said bullshit. I need an example and I need a screenshot. Be like, yeah, on this date, Celine Totsky did this, blah, 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 blah. Like, this ain't really accountability. This is you trying to save your own ass. Accountability goes on all parties. All parties led up to the situation. There's no way Selene Totsky was literally the only person fucking up throughout her whole contract. There's no way. Y'all would have got rid of her a long time ago. Y'all kept her around for a long time because whether she's entertaining or beneficial or she's actually good at her job, which she is, she's amazing at her job. Selene has done so much for Niji Sanji, yet... You guys want to sit here and talk about, oh, she broke rules, this and that. Who gives a fuck? She helped make your company profitable. If it wasn't for her, nobody would even be watching your shit. Nobody would be watching Niji Sanji if all the people that we like left. If literally everyone in Niji Sanji EN quit today, and then you just hired 20 new random motherfuckers, I'm telling you, there's going to be less people watching. I can guarantee you that shit. There will be less people fucking watching. And you guys just don't understand it. I don't understand why you don't understand it. Maybe you guys should like reevaluate these decisions and shit like this and be more transparent because you're being transparent after you let her go. Where was the communication during the, these types of talks? Like maybe we should terminate or maybe we should do this. Maybe we should do that. Why wasn't this addressed in the community post officially? Like, hey, we're deliberating on Celine. 
Because if you kept everyone quiet, everyone kept demanding. First they were asking, then they started demanding, where is Selene? In May 2023, we sent a notice to Lentoski stating that any further violations of the activity rules or engaging in false or misleading statements that could damage our company's reputation will result in termination of our affiliation contract. However, she has continued to violate the activity rules. Events landing in suspicious Lentoski activities all the times are in JST. Okay, amidst the Affirmation circumstance on December 26, 2023, Selene Toski posted a music video, Selene, da 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 da, repeal activity rules. The material of the music video were shared for the first time with our management December 24th. Since some elements of the music video lack proper authorization, on December 25th, we communicated to Selene Toski that permissions need to be obtained for relevant parties, requesting her to wait before releasing it. Despite this, Selene Toski disagreed with the notes that proceeded with the unauthorized posting. So basically, Niji Sanji is sitting here saying, we told her not to upload the video because we weren't, we, we didn't have all the legal stuff done. So Lynn clicked upload on the video anyway. This is what you're saying. Now, I don't know who uploads the video. Let, let's be real. Like these livers, I don't know if they upload the videos or if someone else does. I know they go live when they set a schedule, but when it comes to uploading content, that's something that should be scheduled and checked by her manager and double checked. Make sure the tags are in the right place. Make sure the description is done. Blase, blase, right? Let's let's actually go. Let's just go to a random. Let's go. Selen Totsky. We're going to go to her channel. We're going to go to her channel. Damn, they got rid of everything quick. Or it's just live. Oh, the channel is down. Damn, they got rid of everything. VODs, what about VODs? Gone. Everything's gone. Damn. No. Look, I guess I can't. I guess I can't prove anything if you ain't got, if you get rid of all the evidence. Touche. 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 Any color. All right. Uh. Blah blah blah. Our immediate response was to make the music video private until all author uh, authorizations were confirmed from our end. See, on their end. At the same time, the reasoning was clearly explained to Selin. However. Celine took to social media, yeah, yeah, and saying, furthermore, Celine has put up a statement, blah, 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 breaking guidelines, yep. And in effect, calm the situation. We sought to either publicly disclose the reason for making a music video, which you should have done, uh, and then she disclosed it herself. While being mindful, Celine Toski, physical and mental health, the management did their best to communicate with not only Celine Toski for herself, but in emergency contacts. However, despite the frequent communication with Celine Toski, emergency contact, while reminding con con considerate uh, of her situation, we were unable to come to an agreement on how it should be processed. The decision was made temporarily remove her access to accounts. Okay, so she had no access to, to anything. Mm. All right. Um, termination affiliation contracts. After attempting to address the aforementioned situation and communicating with the legal counsel representing the legal the legal counsel representing Selene, we conveyed it's necessary for Selene to inform the public about the reasons behind her decisions to make the beauty of private. We express Selene our expectation for future compliance and activity rules from here on. Despite our efforts, Lynn Toski demanded that any cover should be held legally responsible. Oh, uh, okay. This is going to be messy. This is going to be very messy. This is going to be very, 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 very messy. This is going to be very, very, very messy. Very messy. Um, we express to Lynn Toski our expectation of future compliance with the activity rules from here on. Despite our efforts, demanded any blah, blah, blah activities. As the library, due to the decisions made by any color, was being harassed by other affiliate libraries due to the mismanagement, etc. While refusing to acknowledge her responsibility for violating activity rules, moreover, Salentoski insists that it is that if the negotiations did not progress, she would proceed to release a statement regarding her claims to the public. Damn! So they basically said Salent threatened them if uh, she didn't have her way. That's what they're saying. I don't know if that's true or not. Whatever. Any color believes that the claims raised by Selene Toski are in fact referring to the situation in the cross, but she was warned about her breaches of the activity rules and attempts to shift the responsibility of these violations, damaging any color in Niji Sanji Ian's image. This led to the deterioration of a relationship between her and any color. 
So basically, they're saying it's Celine's fault that she's getting fired right now. Like, because she kept doing stuff where they couldn't salvage the relationship. At least that's what they're saying that they're trying to give her every possible leeway. And they're saying Celine threatened them. Celine wouldn't do this. Celine wouldn't do that. Celine didn't listen. Blah, blah, blah. They're basically throwing her under the bus. Whether we believe it or not is up to you guys. Considering the ir irreparable damage to our company's reputation and threat to ongoing activities and other affiliated libraries, we regrettably concluded that the termination of our affiliated contract with Slantowski was unavoidable. No shit. I already knew this was coming. No shit it's unavoidable, bro. She literally told people to leak her fucking song. Yeah. <laughs> Since become part of Niji Sanji 2021, Selene has indubitably played a significant role in the growth of Niji Sanji. I'm glad you guys know that and you guys are saying it. We fully understand that our decision to terminate the contract with her significantly impacts Selene's Toski's fan base and supporters Niji Sanji. However, ensuring responsible content creation re responsible content creation through adherence of activity rules and fundamentals to our mission, it will deep uh, we deeply regret blah 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 agreement blah blah circle says let up blah 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 as of today february 2024 japan standard japanese standard time slint activities will cease her youtube membership will be closed and her social media accounts will be made private we will also gradually halt the sales of merchandise voice related content blah 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 niji blah 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 we sincerely thank all for those who supported slint applies to life for any inconvenience by this announcement we humbly request you continue your support of Vasidia niji sanji in the future for all inquiries of the matter, please contact Andy Color right here. Boom, boom, boom. Sincerely, Andy Color Incorporated. All right. Um, let's go to the comments. She's better without you guys. <laughs> anyway, it's just a way how everyone is slowly leaving. That says a lot. You could at least tell them, you could at least let them say goodbye. Now she's free and can do whatever she wishes to do. She ain't free. She is not free. She is not free. She has a legal, she has a legal uh, ball and chain collected to her foot right now. And she might just be getting screwed. By this sucks, she's probably better off somewhere else, bro. She's gonna end up getting, she's either gonna have to pay a big ass fine or they gonna throw the book. They are gonna throw the book. So if y'all didn't know, this is Celine's uh, old account or her personal account. So yeah, she says she won't be silent anymore. I'm still me. Every memory and achievement I've earned is still me. They cannot take that away. Please let everyone know that this is where I am now. Hope you'll find me again. We can laugh all together. So I will say, Hopefully everything goes good, but I really don't see it going good. Thank you guys for uh, keeping me in the loop with this. This is kind of, it's kind of insane. Um, another Niji Sanji library down, that sucks. But at the same time, I can't say I didn't see it coming because of her mistakes. Does she deserve to get fired? Absolutely. Does she deserve the way that she was being treated before she was fired? Absolutely not. I don't agree with the way Niji Sanji handled it. They could have handled it a lot, handled it a lot better. And from I've seen when it comes to track record, this is just another oops, we messed up. Like you guys could have saved this several times. And even right now, you're not saving it. You're literally just throwing her under the bus and making it seem like you have no fault whatsoever. If you have no if there's no accountability at Niji Sanji or any color, how could you hold your own talent accountable? You're not even accountable. So it doesn't even make sense. But yeah. Good luck, Selene. Wish you the best. Uh, welcome back to the free world. And hopefully you win your future legal battles. Hope it goes right. And, or hopefully they don't press anything at all. I doubt it, though, but we'll see.